If we become contaminated, it could affect the exports of alfalfa products, alfalfa hay, and other forage seed products that go into other markets in different countries where they don't accept it. Currently, it's not in Alberta. It is not a uh, it's approved for sale in Canada, but it's not being marketed in Canada yet. It's in a trial basis in Eastern Canada so far. And so far, I would say um, in Alberta, we're trying to be remain GE, or genetically engineered alfalfa free. And at this time, uh, it is so far genetically engineered alfalfa free. We're hoping to get some type of exposure, I guess, so that we can maybe get our government to take uh, an active role in looking at helping us to keep it out of Alberta because right now it is approved for sale in Canada. However, we think that the importance of the export markets and the economic impact could be really severe. Hundreds of millions of dollars, so and over a long term. And once it's here, it's really hard to go back. That's the other thing is once it contaminates, it's really hard to uncontaminate. The pollen from alfalfa could be transferred to other alfalfa plants, say in the ditches or down the road, and it would be transferred by bees flying. Leafcutter bees are what they use to pollinate alfalfa fields, and if those bees fly to a, an alfalfa uh, plant that's in a ditch, it could, it could cross-pollinate, and it could contaminate from hay fields that say they don't cut their hay on time if it's raining and it starts to bloom. The pollinators are going to fly and they're going to cross-pollinate and we're going to get contamination for sure. The biggest area that grows alfalfa seed production is in southern Alberta where it's under irrigation. So they have control and they have pretty consistent crops and right now they are the biggest seed production area in Canada. And they stand to actually lose the most for their seed contracts. So for them it would be devastating if they would have a lot of their production contracts possibly going to other countries, say, or, or being lost because of contamination issues. The world market so far is actually going away from genetically modified products and so far we're clean for alfalfa so if we can maintain that clean status we stand to keep those markets plus gain some more whereas with uh, understanding that we're not opposed to the technology at all in any way we're not uh, anti-biotech or anything we are just focused mainly on our export markets and the economic impact it could have for the province of Alberta.